Hello and welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In this episode, we will be talking about is blank and count blank functions. To follow along with me, make sure you have a copy of this workbook downloaded using the link in the video description. We have two sheets on this workbook, see it and do it. See it is where I will demonstrate and do it is where you can practice. Let us begin. At times we require to find out how many blank cells do we have on the data set and to do that we have this handy function called is blank. If I want to find out whether the cell is blank or not, I can simply type in equal to is blank. I have that function in my view. I will select that using the arrow key and press tab on the keyboard to complete it. Now I want to find out whether the cells in column I are blank or not. So I will just click that cell and close the bracket and press enter. If the cell is blank, it will return true. If not, it will return false. I can just drag this down and I can see as we have values here, output is false, but here we have blank cell hence true in case if i have a cell that is calculated using a formula how would that be handled by is blank let us take a look i will just drag it across and there you go it is acting little odd this cell is blank but you can see this one says false as if it is not blank so there is a problem with is blank function so to avoid that we can call in count blank function let me just get rid of these two columns and I will place my cursor here, say equal to count blank. Count the blank cells in this column and press enter. Whoa, it is getting me all the cells in that range that are blank. I don't want that. So I will modify this. I will just go ahead and say count blank and I will ask Excel to look under this area only and I press enter. There you go. Now I have only two blank cells. That is a great trick, but what would you do if the data grows? You will have to modify this function. I don't want to do that. I want to count that irrespective of the growth and shrink of the data. How do I go about it? So for that, I will convert this data set into a table. To do that, I can simply press Ctrl T on the keyboard or I can select format as table under the home tab or I can say insert and then click table. Either ways, you can just create the table. I'll just press Ctrl T on the keyboard while inside this data and select my table has headers and click OK. The data set is now changed into a table. Apart from the visual appeal, there are more benefits to the table. Let let me show you how. I go to the formulas tab now and click on the name manager. There we go. We have a table there. All the tables that I create will be named based on their range. That range will be called with a unique name. By default, Excel will name my table as table 1, table 2, table 3 and so on. So I'm going to change the name of this table 1 to employees. Now I'm going to call it employees and click OK. So my table is now known as employees. Let me close this down. Let me try the count blank function one more time. I say count blank. Now to select the table, I can simply start typing in the name of the table. I have just renamed my table. So I will say employees. See that I have all the functions that start with the letter E along with my table that is employees on the third row of this list. The indication of a table is that grid like icon. Anything with that F like icon is of inbuilt function of Excel. So I will select my table press tab on my keyboard. Now I open the angular bracket that will give me access to all the columns in that table. I want to check whether the column bonus is empty or not. So I select that column, close the angular bracket, close the bracket and press enter. There we go. It now says there are two cells in that range that are blank. So when you add any data to this table, let us say I add something to this one. Say I say the blue C. I just add something there. Since there is some formula running down, I will just get rid of that formula. That cell is now blank. See here, it says there are three cells in that range that are blank. As the data keeps growing, it will keep counting. So that is the difference between count blank and is blank in Excel. So when you're using these functions, be very careful and use them wisely. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to practice as much as you can to retain this learning. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you for investing your time. Stay happy, stay lovely. Until next time.